Grapes are a popular agricultural crop all over the world. There are more than 10,000 different varieties of grapes worldwide, which are consumed fresh as raisins, as preserves, as juice, and of course as wine. The United States ranks third in annual grape production worldwide. In Ohio, we have around 1,800 acres of grapes and over 270 wineries. Cold injury and diseases are the top two concerns of growers in the state. Black rot, downy mildew, and powdery mildew are three major diseases of grape that can cause substantial yield losses each year. The first image shows black rot, the second image shows downy mildew, and the third image shows powdery mildew on grape clusters. Other fungal diseases that affect grape include anthracnose, fomopsis, and botrytis gray mold. There are over 60 known viruses that can infect grape vines worldwide, although only a handful actually cause disease and affect plant growth and yield. In Ohio, grape leaf rule associated viruses and grape red blotch virus are the two most detected viruses. The progression of vine decline by these viruses is generally slow but incremental. However, environmental stressors such as cold injury, drought, or too much water can expedite vine decline by these viruses. Grape viruses can be transmitted and spread by mechanical means, insect vectors, nematodes, or by propagation. For bacterial diseases, crown gall, caused by the soil-borne bacterium agrobacterium, is the most invasive bacterial disease of grapes across the country. The first image here shows a picture of crown gall. Pierce's disease, caused by Zellella fastidiosis and shown in the second image, is a deadly disease of grapevines, but for the most part is restricted to areas with a subtropical climate with the greatest distribution and greatest disease severity occurring in Florida and California. However, with changing weather patterns in the Midwest, the threat of this disease in Ohio and surrounding states is growing. There are four grapevine diseases caused by phytoplasma. Grapevine yellows disease is shown in the image on the right. Symptoms of phytoplasma diseases are very hard to distinguish from those caused by viruses and the cause of disease must be diagnosed using molecular assays. Grapevine tends to be sensitive to abiotic factors such as cold injury, ozone, and herbicides. Rupestris speckle, as shown in the first image, is the result of an unknown physiological disorder and affects grapes that have vitis rupestris in their background. In the Midwest and Northeastern US, the varieties Chamborsin and Frontenac Gris are particularly sensitive to this disorder. The center image is leaf damage caused by ozone, and the last image shows injury by the herbicide dicamba. Grape diseases will be covered in a series of 11 lectures, including this introductory lecture. In these lectures, we will learn about fungal, oomycete, bacterial, and viral diseases, as well as abiotic disorders in more detail. We will also discuss various strategies used to generate clean planting stock. The lecture on viruses is a pre-recorded webinar by Dr. Fuchs at Cornell University. The link to the webinar is provided in the reading section of the module as well as on the virus lecture page on Carmen. The learning outcomes for grape diseases are, one, you should be able to identify the pathogens that cause the major fungal, viral, and bacterial diseases of grape. You should be able to recognize the major disorders affecting grape. You should be able to understand how ontogenic resistance impacts disease development in grape, and this will be covered when we look at the fungal diseases of grapes. And lastly, you should be able to identify IPM strategies used to manage grape diseases 
and also strategies that are used to generate clean planting stock materials. The next group of lectures will cover fungal and oomycete diseases and how these diseases are managed.